Hello everyone and welcome to Mothered, a psychological horror game which a few of you suggested and that I'm primarily interested in due to a particular bullet point on the store page which reads that it makes use of the uncanny to tell a story that will keep you guessing until the credits roll. Now the reason that has me so interested is because I always find it so engaging in horror when you're left constantly guessing as to the actual nature of what's going on around you. I don't know, I just think it's so interesting to be watching something and with every new development have to kind of cast your whole understanding of what's happening in a different light. I can't wait to get into this so I'm just gonna press start. Now it seems like we've got a little bit of a retro vibe here. Not really faux PS1 but actually almost like almost like an 80s arcade game. Uh, now it warns that this game features themes of abuse, sickness, and death. So if any of that bothers you, this may not be for you. There's a storm approaching. Right on cue. Father, Sunday evening. Uh, I have to clip through it. We can only hope this will be the last. Press left click to wake up. Mom? Uh, WASD to move, mouse to look, hold space or right click to open the interface. When the interface is active, left click to interact. Okay. Oh, I can move around in the back seat a little bit. Oh, look at that haze on the landscape as we drive by. It's almost like what we're seeing is a vague memory. And are we playing as a child? It seems like we're pretty short. Uh, left click on objects to interact. Okay, is there anything I can interact with? Uh, holding down... Oh, I see. So we bring up our crosshair or sort of... Uh... So we bring up our crosshair by holding down right click. That's the interface. And it also brings up... I guess the chapter and day? Okay, so what do we need to interact with? Oh. Sorry, Liana. I didn't mean to wake you. I must have been thinking out loud again. Good timing. We're almost there. I know that the surgery took a lot out of you, but I think getting you back home will make all the difference. It's important for you to be with Mother, to remind you of how things used to be. What do you mean, how things used to be? Like, before the surgery? If all goes well, I have faith you'll be back to your old self by the end of the week. You've been through a lot. I'm just glad we got you out of that place. It wasn't good for your head. Okay, so I'm a young girl who had some kind of surgery, and apparently I'm not myself as a result. Oh, we're going through a very narrow tunnel. Uh, that is one lane only. Oh, I see, it's a bridge. Oh, this is so cozy. I, I love that soundtrack as well. This whole thing just feels like memories of childhood. The raindrops on the glass. Alright, is there anything else I have to interact with? You know, Liana. Father turns down the radio. I have a good feeling about this week. I know I've been so busy at work recently. To tell you the truth, it shames me that I don't have as much time to see my family as I used to. But I just want you to know something. Everything we do is for you. I'll give you a call on Thursday evening. Remember to keep an ear out for my call. Okay, so we'll have to remember that he's going to call on Thursday evening. So he's not going to be around, it's just going to be us and Mother. The house is just up here on the right. Just in time for nightfall. So there's going to be like a daily progression 
Like the whole thing will take place over the course of a week. Well, here we are. The storm has picked up, so you better run in before you get soaked. Press shift to run. If it's too dark in there, be sure to look for light switches. Oh, I almost forgot. Your mother left a box for me somewhere in there. Could you bring it out to me before you head to bed? I'll be waiting right here. Oh, you're not even going to come inside? Okay, so I'm um, being left home alone following a surgery with my mother while my father has to go, I guess, to work. Maybe... Maybe my hazy vision has something to do with the surgery that I had. It didn't say that I had brain surgery, but I'm kind of suspecting that that's the case, because he said that he thinks I'll be back to my old self again by the end of the week. That's a little bit awkward to have to hold down right-click to be able to interact with anything, but I think I'll get used to it. It's not so bad. Uh, now he said that Mother left a package in here for him, so... Uh, what would that be? God, he was really, really vague, kind of expecting a lot of his young daughter who just got out of surgery. Uh, this game is very, very atmospheric, though. The way the rain shines on the pavement outside, and the light casts through the windows in this dark old house. You flip the kitchen light switch, okay... Gotta turn on all the lights. That's the first thing you do in any game that gives you the option. Although it looks like I'm able to wade into the dark a little bit because we have just a little bit of ambient light coming from us. We have that same genetic trait as Ethan Winters. Is that a note on the table? A note from Mother. It's a note for you. Welcome home, Liana. I hope you made it here safely. Sorry I'm not there to welcome you personally. I haven't been feeling well the past few days, so I've had to go to bed early. Uh, sounds like I'm the one that's going to be the caretaker in this situation. Leaving me here is very irresponsible, then. I'll make it up to you in the morning, okay? Love, Mom. P.S. I left a box on the sofa for Dad. Could you please bring it out to him before he drives off? He needs it for work. There's a lamp just behind you. It should help. They're explaining a lot about my own house to me. Okay, where's that lamp? Over here, perhaps? Ah, right here. You touch the lamp. Uh, is the box over here somewhere? Wait. What is this? This is a weird little structure. Like, there's just a divided little hallway in here. What's this about? Uh, there's a record player. That's not what we're looking for. We're looking for Dad's box. He's waiting for us. We've got a job to do. All the responsibility in the, in the world is on the shoulders of this little girl who just got out of surgery. Oh, there's a dip in the floor. I was wondering why I was sinking down. Alright, where's this? Ah, here we go. There's a cardboard box on the sofa. Father wants you to bring it out to him. Okay. It's quite heavy. I wonder what's in it. She said he needs it for work. Alright, Papa. You still there? Making me run back out into the rain. Oh, those headlights are blinding. Can you maybe kill the high beams? I was almost worried it was going to be somebody else there when I finally got through. I don't like having my visibility obstructed. Great, you found it. You give Dad the box. Be sure to say hi to your mom for me, okay? And I just got the achievement, What's in the Box? Might be a little nod to the movie Seven. And please, be patient with her. She's been through more than any of us. What do you mean she's been through more than any of us? I apparently just got out of some kind of traumatic surgery, so that's a pretty high bar to top. I'd give you a hug, but... I can't let you see my face. It, 
it wouldn't be safe. Looks like the storm is picking up. You'd better run in and get to bed. I'll be sure to call on Thursday night. You really want to emphasize that. Good night. Uh, good night, Daddy. What do you mean it wouldn't be safe if I see your face? Why can't I know what you look like? Nothing about this makes any sense, so I've just been brought home from the hospital after a surgery, and I can't see either of my parents? Uh, I mean, it's not like it's not to be expected for a game like this, but something's clearly not right here. Now, he's telling me to go to bed, but I'm going to have a quick look around first to see if there's maybe anything I can find. Uh, the fridge contains food. You do not need to eat. I don't know to what extent I'm going to have to explore, or if there will maybe be different endings. I don't know in what ways my actions will affect the outcome, or if they'll affect anything at all. In any case, I am liking the graphics. I was all ready to criticize it because I feel like kind of the faux retro look is a little bit overdone and is sometimes used in cases where it's not really needed. But I think the kind of hazy and grainy look in this case, combined with somewhat realistic looking graphics, not quite PS1, is a good way to kind of make it feel hazy, in part both as a childhood memory type of thing, and also maybe as a delirious following the post-surgery. Now, there's a telephone under the stairs. We'll have to remember that. You pick up the phone, but nobody's there. Yeah, you have to dial it, you idiot. Alright, well, I guess let's go to bed. Unless we see something interesting along the way. Bathroom light switch. Uh, so I guess this is the bathroom? Why is the bathroom light switch on the outside of the bathroom? Now, let's get a feel for all the things. Don't need to use the sink. I'm just trying to get a feel for what we can and can't interact with. Like, can we look in cabinets and whatnot? I guess not. There's just something that's always been so childishly eerie about a dark corridor and a rainstorm with the shape of the window panes projected onto the opposite wall by the moonlight. Uh, this must be my room. Liana's room. Stay out or face my wrath. Oh, I'm playing as my little cousin. Uh, doesn't seem to be a light switch on my... W what is going on out there? It's like there's a burning barn or something? It all goes out of focus as I approach. Wait, there's got to be a way to get a better look at that. Mom and Dad's room door. I can't interact with it right now. What's this? It doesn't give a description of what the room is. I'm not allowed to enter his room. What do you mean, his room? Wait. I hear something inside, like... breathing? You hear that, right? It's like a soft crying, almost. I guess let's go to bed. You've traveled far today. You're exhausted. You climb into bed and go to sleep. It says something something consciousness. Well, this is much better. The orange haze is filtering through my windows. The birds are chirping and... 
Uh, the barn appears to have recovered from last night's fire, so that's good, I guess. I wonder, is something going to be wrong with my parents or with me? Or maybe it's both, and it's just going to be a matter of which is the more messed up. Uh, we've gone from creepy to serene in a very big hurry. Uh, that contrast almost makes it worse, though, to be honest. Uh, Mother said she'd make it up to me in the morning. Are we making pancakes, or waffles, or French toast sticks? Good morning, Liana. It's me. Your mother. Ah. Uh, you look like a weird mannequin with lipstick painted on it. Apologies again for my absence last night. I need to take care of something. Okay, is your movement like that supposed to be weird, or is it just the style of the game? Like, is my character supposed to be disconcerted by your appearance? Because I myself certainly am. I know what you may be thinking. And you don't have anything to worry about. You're home now. That's the most important thing. But anyway, I do hope you slept comfortably. I understand that you may be feeling a bit confused after your operation. You've been through a lot, Liana. But as I'm sure you're noticed, your room is your room was kept just the way it was when you left. After all, we wouldn't want to face your wrath, would we? I always love that little sign on your door. It's so you. I hope that being back in your own room made you feel a little more comfortable. For today, I think you should just take it easy. Catch up with your dear old mother. Yeah, I want to learn as much about you as I possibly can. First things first, I've prepared breakfast for you. Oh, what are we having? It's over there on the table. It's your favorite. Oh, I can't wait to learn what my favorite is so I can judge this little girl. Breakfast platter. Oh, it's just breakfast. Just in general. I guess I'm Walter Jr. Nutrients. Your favorite. <laughs>"...you ingested all the nutrients." <laughs> Is this this little girl's inner monologue? Because, based on the sign on the door, that could very well be the case. Like, this is just how she describes things. I can see somebody like that just sitting at the table and being like, Mmm, nutrients. Thank you, mother. Alright, let's catch up. Oh, this is such a beautiful house. But as we saw last night, under the right conditions, even a gorgeous home can become foreboding. You ate that whole thing? Yeah, I need my nutrients. That's <laughs> interesting. God, I thought I was going to be suspicious of you. So I understand that your memory may not be intact after your operation. And so I was thinking, it could perhaps be helpful if I was to show you around the house. God, you're like a Disney World animatronic. Maybe if you got a tour of the house you grew up in, it could speed up your recovery. Okay. Feel free to explore the house. Alright. Uh... You wanna maybe... You wanna maybe close your mouth? No? Catching all the flies? Thanks, you're a good mom. You don't want me to live in filth if... Uh, mom? It's the same dialogue again. Wait, 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 wait. Oh, that's more than a little disturbing. Oh, I'm now starting to see the purpose of having the foreground be out of focus. It makes for a real disconcerting effect when you see something in the distance and think, that can't be right. The downstairs bathroom has been boarded up. 
and it was broken, so we thought it was best to not let anyone in. That's... You put tape over it or something, or a sign. That's not how you do that. I know how much you used to love getting into places you shouldn't be. You must not try to break in here. Then again, it's not like you ever listened to us. You always were a rebellious one. But this is for your own good. After all, we don't want you flooding the place. That would be a nightmare. Anyway, meet me upstairs and we'll check on that brother of yours. Okay, so upstairs must be my brother's room. That's now two rooms that I'm not allowed to enter. But you're now gone from here. So I have to once again ask, is that meant to be disturbing that I turn around and she's down the hall? Or is it just the way it handles her moving from place to place? In any case, it certainly gave me the heebie-jeebies the first time I saw it. Honey? Oh, I have great news. Your sister is back. He's been quiet ever since you got sick. Now he spends all his time on his computer, talking with others like him. We never get to talk anymore. And whenever we do, he may as well be speaking another language. I know, it's like so cringe. And it's like he's in a completely different world. But our boy is very smart for his age, that's for sure. If you ever need advice, I'm sure he won't mind you knocking on his door. He'll never allow you to go in, though. Okay, well, let's move on. Uh, can I talk to him now? Yeah. Come on. There was no answer. Okay, well, you're instantly proven wrong. Okay, where have you gone now? Bathroom? Yes, uh, you were just waiting for me in here to open the door. Hmm. The mirror's been taped up at head level. Father said that she'd suffered more than anyone. Does she maybe have some kind of issues that I don't know about? It is for your own good. What does that mean? This is the bathroom you'll be using. As I said, the downstairs one is boarded up and you're forbidden from entering. Also, I hope you don't mind, but I've had to cover all the mirrors. It is, again, for your own good. You want to fill me in on the reason for that? Uh, am I moving along again? Ah, there you are. God, that is so weird, and I don't know if it's supposed to be. After seeing the way she moves, I'll never have any idea what's meant to be scary and what isn't. But I guess that's the idea. Also, I've noticed sometimes it skips over dialogue. To this door. It leads to mine and your father's room. You're not to enter this door. We keep it locked. But we trust that isn't necessary. We have trust in this family. That concludes our tour. And we move on to Monday evening. Mother has left. Well, let's see what's in here. And it's locked. Great. Okay, so I guess now we just have to take a look around. See what we can see. This is your desk. Can't open these drawers. Gotta try all the things. Can we speak to brother? There was no answer. Well, he really doesn't want to see me, huh? Now, she said that he hasn't been talking since I was hospitalized, so you would think that he was affected by it and would want to see me, but I guess for some reason he doesn't? Oh, there's so much that just doesn't add up. Is there a back door of some kind so that we can go see what's going on with that barn back there? Let's try exploring outside. We haven't really had a chance to do that yet. Who's there? Mother? It said you had left. 
What are you staring at? Oh, I scared you. Juliana, you startled me. You weren't meant to sneak up on me like that. Oh, this is marvelous. How very special. You always used to love sneaking up and spooking me. Oh, it's starting to look like you're getting back to your old self. Who knows? Maybe getting a tour of the house helped recover some of your memories. Okay, tell you what. Tomorrow we'll go take a look around the outside of the house. I'm certain that once you see where you grew up, you'll be back to yourself in no time. Does that sound good? Yeah, that sounds very good. Look at this sunset. We used to watch the sun go down together all the time. To tell you the truth, I was worried we'd never get a chance to do it again. Perhaps all the sacrifices we made really were worth it. What kinds of sacrifices? This one looks especially beautiful, though, doesn't it? Yeah, it really does. Come on. It's starting to get cold. It's about time you get to bed. And we're instantly teleported there with a late-night infomercial graphic. Wait. Mom, you left me out here! Am I actually experiencing these jumps of time in person? Like, am I actually perceiving these? It's like the world just keeps moving around me. Like, there are gaps of time where I just stand still. Uh, where'd she go? Has she gone to bed? That was weird. I'm starting to think it really is going to be the case that there's more wrong with me than with them. But then again, there does seem to be a lot that they want to keep from me, so maybe it is a little bit of both. I think I kind of feel like sleep- <laughs> What are you doing? You touched the- <laughs> Liana, our angel. Just one more thing. God, I've had to do a lot of things that I've regretted. Like what? So please, no more. For the sake of this family. Sorry I had to bring down the mood before bedtime. Oh, it's okay if you hate me. It's normal for girls your age. I just really hope you enjoyed your first day back home. I, I was until now. Get some rest. I'll tuck you in. Just like before. Ah, oh, that silhouette. Why were you waiting here, and what do you mean, please no more? Did I do something? And, and she says she had to do things she regretted. What does that mean? There's a lot that she doesn't want me to know. It's almost like she doesn't want me to get all of my memories back. Mother tucks you in, just like before. It's Tuesday. Now remember, we had to expect a call from Father on Thursday. Uh, she said that today she'd take me for a walk around the house. God... I'm really starting to see the way this game is going to do its scares. It's the horror in being somewhere that's so familiar yet alien. Presumably a place that should bring me comfort, but just something's not right. There's a certain phobia that I've heard of, or I don't know if it's considered a phobia or a straight-up psychological disorder, in which the person believes that people they know or objects that they own have been replaced with an identical copy. That's almost the vibe that I'm getting from this whole thing, and they even further serve to distance you from it by having those objects in the far away be out of focus. 
So it's almost like, despite having a vague idea of what you're walking into, you still understand that you just... don't. I feel like for as nice as she's been so far, and for as normal as she's mostly been until last night, I just don't know what to expect from any interaction with her. Oh. Good morning, Liana. I hope you're well rested. I may ask you to exert yourself a little more today. Yesterday evening, I mentioned that I'd show you around the house grounds. Well, I've given it further thought. And I think we simply must do it. Yes, I want to explore as much as possible. If there's any possible chance of getting you your memories back, we need to take it. I think it's important for you to know what goes on here. Okay, I'd like to. I'd like you to meet me down by the place we watched the sun last night. Okie dokie. Uh, but do I get any more nutrients? Oh, I do. <laughs> I've been. I've once again ingested all the nutrients. All right, mom. See you outside. Ah, you made it. This is our orchard. It means a lot to me. While you were in hospital, I became very lonely. The music is doing weird stuff right now. I never got to see your father. And your brother? He closed himself off entirely. Watching you in that hospital bed made me feel so powerless. This orchard became the one place where I felt I had control over what was happening. To have responsibility over the creation of life. It's a divine gift. What am I, chopped liver? A gift inherently infused with sorrow. And failure. To look at this orchard, you don't see all the heartbreak that was involved in creating such beautiful life. Creating an environment where they can thrive and come into their own. It takes time. But once you get it right, you'll forget about the hardship that brought you there. Spending your energy on helping them grow, only to have to dispose of the failure. That's where our hope comes in. I hope you don't consider me a failure. And I have hope. Let's continue. Meet me at the path near the side of the house. So it seems like each given interaction is going to advance time. Mother is waiting near the graveyard. We have our own graveyard? Okay, I'm starting to form a theory. My brother and I... We're not the first kids, are we? That's my current thought. Because she seems like she's been through all this before, and she's willing to go through it again. But that's the path to the orchard. Where is the graveyard? Well, here she is. The path behind me will take you to the graveyard. We keep the gate locked. I like to go in there every Friday evening. Although I've been growing less fond of going in there lately. With a future as hopeful as ours, I don't feel the need to cling to the past. Not anymore. It's time to move on. With our tour, I mean. Meet me behind the house. There's one last thing I need to show you. Behind the house. No, I guess not this behind the house. Oh, there's a path going off this way. There's a lot of little offshoots from this property. I mean, it's a nice house, but it's not a big house, so it's weird that there's so much land that it apparently sits on. And I can't tell if we're rich or not. You see that barn up there? Yeah, I definitely made a note of it on night one. And the music.
music is slowing down some. I truly hope you'll never have to see what's in there. <laughs> Survival notice, do not enter the barn. Many times over. Survival notice. Come on, let's go inside. It's getting late. Okay, so we're up to like three or four different places we must never go. But I can't interact with the gate. I truly hope you'll never have to see what's in there. What does she mean by that? I have so many questions. She says she wants me to get my memories back, but she also claims that... That, that there's so much that she doesn't want me to know. What's in this room or that? Doesn't want me to see my reflection in the mirror? Or maybe she doesn't want to see her own reflection, I don't know. But she said it was for my own good. And I still haven't met my brother yet. What's for dinner? Anything on the table? No, no nutrients. Mom, it's late. I demand nu- Did her hair change the- <laughs> Your dress is doing a little bit of clipping there to your hand. Did her hair change color? Maybe I'm just remembering wrong, or maybe it's the lighting. I feel like her hair might have- I feel like her hair might have changed color. By the way, I've been meaning to ask you. How is your father doing? You spoke to him when he drove you here on Sunday evening, didn't you? Ever since you got sick, he's just buried himself in his work. That's why I barely get to see him these days. He makes a quick visit every Friday night, just to see how things are doing. Oh. He's just so determined to make things right. Off to bed with you. Ah, that was scary. <laughs> Next time, warn me before you turn around. It's getting dark. So, okay, I have... Mother has left. What do you mean, Mother has left? Does that mean she's still here? Does that mean she's gone somewhere? She wants to send me to bed, but I'm gonna look for her. But I have to once again uh, restate my theories, including the addition of a new one. So... I'm continuing with my theory that I am not the first of the children. Neither is my brother, that she's... there have been others before us. But I also think that I didn't get sick. I think maybe... I might have had some kind of head injury that required surgery? And that maybe my brother had something to do with it, by accident. Because she said that he withdrew when I ended up in the hospital. But the thing is, he still doesn't want to talk to me, so maybe he feels like some kind of guilt? I'm still going to try to make contact. She's been feeding you dirt for breakfast, by the way. I'm not sure what's worse. The fact that she tells you it's your favorite, or the fact that you believe her. Is my perception really that far off, or is he just trying to be cruel? I don't I don't know what to make of that, but... Oh, Mom? Is that her? I really don't like that this hallway has no light, but that's definitely her. thought of the most marvelous idea. Yeah, I saw you. It didn't really jump scare me. Were those sounds meant to be in the environment, or are they just part of the soundtrack? Let's spend a day in the orchard tomorrow. We'll get up bright and early and spend a day picking apples until the sun sets. Just like we used to. What do you think? Oh. You always jumped at the opportunity. You and your brother used to love competing to see who could pick the best ones. Don't tell him I said this, but I always thought yours were the best. That's a weird thing to say. Speaking of your brother, 
have you gotten a chance to speak with him at all? I'm certain that he's just as thrilled to have you home as I am. He just shows it in his own way. I hope you felt okay today. Anyway, get to bed. Now that was quite uncanny. And the thing is, it's not what she said. What she said has been in line with with every conversation that we've had so far, it's the way she presented that conversation. The way she was just waiting for me at the end of that dark hallway. And that's the thing, is that so far, everything is so normal, but there's just... Something isn't right. At least my lamp is still on. And not since the first night have I seen that fire burning in front of the barn. Alright, let's go to bed. And you must sleep to progress disengaging? <laughs> that was a slightly different dialogue from what we usually get, even though it progresses too quickly to really tell sometimes. Can we look at this portrait? No. It's kind of hard to see, but it looks like maybe maybe a sailboat on stormy waves at night. I think I'm going to try at every opportunity to talk to my brother. Our dear mother is looking for you downstairs. You'd better hurry. I detect a hint of sarcasm in that. Does he not like her? Or... Is he... Okay, if he was trying to be cruel to me... Is he maybe jealous of me? In that case, maybe it wasn't accidental. Maybe he actually did deliberately hurt me. Like, push me down the stairs or something. Because it seems like she's playing favorites here. At least that's the impression I got from last night, like she's trying to get closer to me while pushing him away. Uh, this game is certainly living up to the expectation of keeping me guessing. There's a lot of different directions I could see this going, and I'm not entirely confident in any of them. And yet all of them seem so plausible. Good morning. Hope you're ready for a day in the orchard. Better start bright and early. If you head down there, there's a small shed within the trees. Make your way to the shed, and I'll explain what to do. Oh, it'll be just like old times. There's breakfast on the table, if you feel like you need it. Well, jeez, now I don't know. I think I'll just head out. I don't know if I trust it anymore. I don't know... I don't know who to believe. Alright, now she said to make my way through the trees, and I'll find a shed within the orchard. Now where's that shed? Ah, here we go. Ah, there's Mom. Almost didn't see you. You found me. Hey, it's always so peaceful out here at this time. What better time to start a hard day's l labor? If you get started now, you should be done by the afternoon. <laughs> what do you mean, you? Aren't we both gonna do this? I was my understanding that this was gonna be a group activity. I think eight apples should be enough. Just pick up the basket in the shed. Come back and speak to me when it's noon. Okay. Apple basket. And I'm now able to pick apples. Okay, where do I find apples? Up in the trees, I guess? But do I have to select the trees themselves? No. Will I find them fallen on the ground? Ah, 
Ah, uh, here's one. Ah, uh, this really is so peaceful. I think it's the serenity that helps to contrast the creepiness and give it that uncanny feel. You pick the apple. It's that feeling of there being something wrong, something dangerous, just beneath the surface. But if you had to explain it, like, if I wanted to, say, present this suspicion to someone, there's absolutely nothing I could say to them to justify my fears. And yet it's all just so weird. Apple, uh... That's two down, six to go. I feel like there's also an element of just wanting this to be real, but knowing that it isn't. I feel like a lot of people have some familiar memories in the events of this game. This kind of reminds me of when I used to pick peaches with my grandma in her backyard. Uh, I am a tall little girl, or at least I have some extendo arms. Any more? The blur makes it really difficult to spot these things at a distance, so I really do have to get to every tree and look up. There's another one. Wow, we really are isolated in the middle of truly nowhere. I feel like if I could talk to just one normal person, it might assuage my fears a little bit. You know, I feel like the uncanniness of the animations and such actually kind of goes a little bit of a way to putting you in the role of a small child who, even regardless of the surgery and whose perception might be altered, wouldn't really have a greater context of what constitutes normal behavior. Has it been eight already? Well, I guess we're done now. All right, Mom, I did it. No thanks to you. Well, look at you go. I've never seen someone get a job done with such determination. Interesting that you use that word, considering at this point I feel like you're basically evil, unhinged Toriel. You worked like your life depends on this. <laughs> I'm not in the mood for jokes right now. Isn't it so great being out here, in the real world? When I'm out here, it makes me feel alive. It connects me to this world. The smell of the fall air. The crunching of the leaves beneath my feet. If I didn't have those things, those tangible experiences, well, it would be nothing more than just another menial task. Something I would do simply to get it over and done with so I could move on to the next thing. Sorry. I often get quite reflective when I'm out here. Anyway, place the basket back on the shelf where you picked it up. Then you should take a rest. You've earned it. He placed the basket of apples on the shelf. And I just got the achievement. Fate decided. You hear Mother rush back into the house. Did she ditch me out here? You are now rested. What do you mean I am now rested? Mom? Mom? She left me out here in the dark. How do I... wait. Ah, oh, here we go. I was starting to get worried she closed the gate on me. Mom, why did you do that? And what does that achievement mean? Mom, explain to me what you mean by that achievement, because I don't like it one bit. Fate decided... Is that going to be the main point that everything hinges on? Sorry I had to rush home. I didn't get a chance to see what you collected. I'll do that later. 
You worked very hard today, despite not feeling like yourself. You should be proud of that. Get some rest. Uh, still locked. What? Liana? Can I ask you something? When I talk about these things you used to do when you were younger... You don't remember any of it, do you? It's okay. You don't have to pretend like you do. It's late. I'll speak to you in the morning. So is she... Is she getting the impression from me that my heart isn't in the time that I'm spending with her? Like, I'm not the person she expects? I kind of feel like this whole thing has been a test. And that, and that it's a test that's having mixed results in her eyes. What wisdom have you, brother? You're back from the orchard, yeah? Did everything you were told, did you? I see. Well, I'm gonna let you in on a little secret. Just to save you the surprise. Mother's not happy with you. I'd give her some space if I were you. In fact... She's probably out there right now. But it's best that you just get to bed. She's out there right now? Oh, I don't know what to do. I have to find out. I have to know. She said that she didn't have a chance to see what I collected and that she'd have to do it later. Howl of the wind is giving me really bad vibes. It's so dark. I don't know if I'm supposed to be doing this. I'm going to be even more lost than I was during the daylight. Oh, that noise. <laughs> Why did I jump? I knew you were here. Rotten. All rotten. Rotten to the core. I think it's best not to talk to you right now. I guess my performance was unsatisfactory, and... Uh, given that she doesn't seem to consider me to be me... I'm starting to wonder what good am I in her eyes. Okay. Friendship ended with mother. I think my only choice is to seek some form of alliance with brother. Same thing. I can't bring that up with him. I, f I feel like some solidarity is needed to survive whatever's going on here. I mean, clearly he at least has somewhat of a better idea. How can I sleep having just seen what I did? And the barn, once again, without fire. Every morning, I check on that barn, as well as every night. Obviously, that's going to be where the answer to the big secret lies, but what is it? And what does it have to do with that fire I saw on the first night when I arrived? Now, this game certainly is keeping me guessing, that's for sure. I don't know what to think of her anymore. But the thing is, we gotta keep in mind what she knows and what we know. I know 
that she is not pleased with yesterday's performance. But she doesn't know that I know that, right? And brother, he knows something's up, and he knows that I know something's up because he told me. There was no answer. Gotta continue to act like everything's normal. Because she wants me to think that it is. But we have to remember that we can't trust Mother. Oh, she's not here. But she has made breakfast. It's a note from Mother. Angel, I started to feel unwell last night. You're telling me I got a little sneak preview of your unwellness. I've gone back to bed. Your breakfast is on the table. From Mom. I'm not sure if I should be eating this. I was very excited for my daily bowl of nutrients, but... Can I really trust that anymore after what we saw last night? My brother sowed some doubt and... Well, what we saw last night seemingly confirms it. You're forbidden from touching this record player. It's father's prized possession. Okay. This cabinet is used for storing knives, spoons, forks, and the kitchen knife. Very telling that they made that its own object, separate from knives. Let's keep this cabinet in mind, because it might come into play later. Now, of course, let's examine every door. Hmm. Well, since she's gone to bed, uh, perhaps we'll have the run of the place if we decide to explore around outside. Also, it's Thursday, so remember, we have to be expecting a call from Father any time. Uh, did he say he would call in the evening? Mother also said that he stops by on Fridays. What happens if we wander out the way where Dad was parked? How far can we go? What difference would it even make if I did try to leave? We're out in the middle of nowhere. But there must be some reason I can come out here, right? Yeah, we can make it as far as the road, but no farther. And it's a very narrow road. Hello? Mother is seemingly speaking on the phone. I just don't know how much longer I can do this. With all due respect, that's easy for you to say. You're not the one who's stuck here. It's the same thing. Week in, week out. You know, the more you tell me to just be strong, the more it sounds like you don't think I am. Let's face it. We have renounced nature itself. This curse is our punishment. Okay, I need to go. They should be awake any second. See you tomorrow night. I'll leave our bedroom door unlocked tomorrow evening, same as usual. Tomorrow evening... Was that father? Okay, same dialogue. So once again, she was I wasn't supposed to hear this. So whatever's going on here, Father is in on it. She said that there's something about a curse, and that we've renounced nature itself. Am I paying for something that they did? And what did they do? Okay guys, I just noticed that the recording was a little bit laggy, sorry about that. I've alt-tabbed out and changed some settings in OBS, so hopefully it's a little better now. If not, I don't know if there's really anything to be done about it. Okay, so we've seen Mom in the shed, but now what do we do? I feel like I've already looked at everything else. 
The door to her room won't be unlocked until tomorrow evening. I don't know where else to try. I mean, I could eat my breakfast, but I've been warned against that. You cannot sleep when someone is in your room. Uh, is your wardrobe? It contains clothes. What do you mean when someone is in your room? Uh, okay, well that's more than a little bit disturbing. Yo, Borowski, got any more wisdom for me? Can we try to watch some TV? No. I don't know what else to do. I've been wandering around here for a while. I don't know what to try. I've even tried wandering out into the fields, and there's just nothing. Well, the note does say your breakfast is on the table. Maybe I have no choice but to eat it. You wonder what is wrong with Mother. And now it's afternoon. Okay, so if I had just eaten it right away, we wouldn't have heard her talking on the phone. So there is value in just not always accomplishing the objective right away all the time. Now, where is she? New information is usually learned by talking to her. There you are, staring pensively out the window. Liana, about yesterday. If I came across as irritated, then I'm sorry. I hope you can forgive me. I just need to have hope. You're still not well, and it's not fair for me to push you. How selfish I am to think that this is about me. Run along, my angel. I just need to think things through. Oh, there's Dad's call. Rush, 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 rush. Daddy, daddy, daddy. You pick up the phone. Hello? Liana? That's you, isn't it? It's your father. I told you I'd call. So how's my little angel doing? I'm as busy as I've ever been here at the office. I have a good feeling about this next thing I'm working on. I really think this could be the one. Hey! Can't you see I'm on the phone? <laughs> what do you mean, to who? To my wife, of course. What's it to you, anyway? Sorry about that. Certain people are starting to get far too interested in my business. Okay, where was I? Oh yeah, there's a reason I called. Other than the fact that I said I would, of course. Your mother rang me from the orchard this morning. She told me that things aren't going too well. I'm so sorry to hear that. I just hope you know it's nothing to do with you. It's just... What? She's been through hell lately. I'll be coming to visit her tomorrow night. And as much as I'd love to be able to spend time with you, it's just not safe. What do you mean by that? First you didn't want me to see your face, now you say it's not safe to spend time with me? For either of us. Anyway, try not to fight it, will you? Goodbye. What do you mean, try? That man's optimism. It's not often you see a man's greatest strength also become his greatest weakness. And while he may have lost many things, his hope is not one of them. Why are you talking so crazy, Mama?
What are those lights? What is that in front of me? It's like there's text floating. You see that, right? Come outside. There's something I need you to show me. What? This feels like a murder. This very, very feels like I'm being taken out back. Bro, you got any advice for me? No answer. He's been really silent all day. There's something I need you to show me. Are you going to be out in the orchard? No, you're right here. The nights have been cold lately. Have you noticed? These are the kinds of nights that inspire gratitude in having a home like ours. This one feels especially chilling, though. Yeah, in more ways than one. Doesn't it? I want you to walk directly towards the moon. What do you mean by that? You'll meet me out by the roadside. Uh, I'll do that right after I've exhausted every other option. Bro, please, if you're gonna say something, now's the time to do it. No answer. Now would be the time. I don't even see the glow from your computer anymore. Has something already happened to you? She said walk directly towards the moon. I'm gonna moonwalk in that direction, make sure you're not following. Oh, there's an image for you. What is with those floating words? God, I do not feel good about this one bit. I'm up to my ankles in water. There she is, the fog is getting thick. Here we are. This is as far as we can physically go. I want you to do something for me. I want you to sleep here tonight. I need you to show me. I need to know. But I know you will. What do you mean? You want me to sleep on the dirt? I obviously can't trust you. I'm sleep I'm going in my own bed. I'm sleeping in my own bed. I know now I can't trust you, and I decided a whole day ago, as soon as I saw you with the apples, that I would defy anything you tell me to do. That was the decision I made, and I'm doing it. Mother has an objective for you. She's waiting. Oh, it's not going to let me. I'm back, Mom. I'm not exactly an agent of my own free will, am I? Mother wishes for you to sleep here tonight. You lie on the ground. And wait until morning. And it's almost like I'm a human seed that she's planting. You feel well rested. I don't see how. I don't understand. I honestly did not think that I was surviving Thursday night at that rate. But this morning is just the same as the others. I'm half, in I'm half expecting her to go back and find out that she's going to act like nothing's happened. There she is in the kitchen where she always is. Before I talk to her, I want to find out if my brother's okay. No answer. 
I haven't heard from him in a long time, and the light from the computer hasn't been on either. Hello? That was a long pause. I assume you're well rested. What just... What? The... the Mom, the kitchen just disappeared. <laughs> error, no dialogue, no dialogue, no di This seems like a fake error. I played Lost in Vivo. Your breakfast is on the table. You don't have to eat it. But right now, it seems like your only choice. Are we injecting a little bit of meta-horror into this? I don't know if it really belongs. She said, I don't have to eat it, but right now it seems like I have no choice. Very weird way to phrase that, but it seems to me like a way of saying, check everything. It does not open for you. Oh, this is my first time finding... What appears to be some kind of cellar door. It's over here in the dark, so you can't really see it unless you get right up to it. Okay, we'll keep that in mind. Just as I've been keeping in mind the location of the kitchen knife. And it seems like we really don't have a choice then. I've searched the whole property. You know, deviating from what I'm told to do has not actually made a difference often. But when it has, it's been important, and given me important... Well, I guess what could be called the closest thing to context. Report to Mother for your next objective. I've noticed the wording of these objectives has also started to get a little more disconcerting. Like, it used to say, nutrients, your favorite, but just that time when I went to eat it, it said, nutrients, mother says it's your favorite. No answer from brother's room yet again. I'll allow you into the graveyard. Just for today. Is that supposed to be a threat? You're not even coming with me, are you? Fine. Let's go for a walk, I guess. Uh, the opening of a new area does mean that we'll discover some new secrets. There's so much of this place that she doesn't want me to see, but there's got to be a reason why now she's opening it up to me. I mean, it's not like I sneaked my way in here. She wants me to see it. Is that pixelation supposed to represent, like, a hole in my perception? And errors. I have to say, after all of this, I'm not sure what the goal is of the kind of meta fourth wall breaking horror. Proceeding could risk core instability, you must not proceed. I must proceed. Yeah, I must. Alright, Friday evening. Yeah, I'm definitely going to proceed. Some kind of large statue? Object blocked to prevent potential conflict. The object has been mental blocked to prevent any potential conflict. Are you sure you wish to continue? Yes, mental block removed. Forbidden object. Ah! Observing object may lead to core conflict. Core conflict cause memory leak. You demand the immediate servicing of any unit shown to suffer a core conflict. Are you sure you want to continue? Yes! What is all this? This is out of left field? 
Our angel, we will never give up on you. It's the achievement I just got. Liana's grave. We will never give up on you. I'm dead? Wait, so... A am I... When she was referencing previous failures, the hope and the never giving up, does that mean that I died and she was somehow trying to recreate me from natural growth? Mom, you got some explaining to do. How does this make you feel? You can speak if you like. Mom, is that you? So I really haven't been talking this entire time. This is my first dialogue. Hello? Can you hear me? You don't have anything to say? I'm here! That's okay. You don't have to say anything if you don't want to. Why can't she hear me? Am I dreaming? I must go inside. Your father's coming to visit, and I need to prepare for his arrival. Dad, he's here too? Please go to bed. What is going on? You're probably wondering what's going on. Okay. We'll talk about what just happened in the morning. They can't hear me even when I try to talk. Core conflict contained, control restored, next objective, go to bed. You feel a drop of water run down your face. Ah, oh, that noise. I get the impression that... What she's doing in the orchard has something to do with me and trying to bring me back, and yet it, it's introducing these weird computerized lines of code acting like my existence is some kind of error in reality. Almost like this whole thing is a simulation. Uh, brother, please tell me you have something for me. Ah, uh, your light is on again. Don't mind those two. This happens every week. It's like they're living in different worlds entirely. Sure seems that way. She said she'd unlock the door. Are there any alternatives? And what is that glow? Alright. We... It, the time has come. We've got to see what's going on in that room. They told me to go to bed, but I won't. You hear what appears to be arguing. Do I have Charlie Brown parents? It isn't any of your business. Uh, that's not what I said. Come on, what's the point of you unlocking the door if I can't go in there and intrude? Intruding's all I do. I don't like intrusion, but I like intruding. I guess I have no choice. And the location of those textures out there... I swear it's like floating lines of dialogue has changed. It used to be more over on the left, now it's kind of lined up with the barn. No flame, but I keep thinking that one of these nights I'll look up there and see a silhouette in the window. Disengaging consciousness. It's like the longer we go, the more this reality gives way to simulation. Maybe I never left the hospital. <laughs> do not do that. You're awake. Angel, you're not well. I just wanted to tell you that you can stay in your room today. I don't need you to do anything for me. Your father will be here to pick you up tomorrow evening. 
so until then, just wait in here, okay? We're doing everything we can to help you. You know that, right? That's my girl. Oh no, it's not even going to give me the option of leaving. Core objective. Be with mother. So I have to make my way to her. I have to defy the order. This is taking a really strange turn all of a sudden. The room is barren and dark. It almost looks like there was a fire in here. The walls are unpainted. And the... Wait! The painting is a mirror into my room. A window. Does she watch me sleep at night? I can't open that. Can't open these. She just watches me sleep. And I can't interact with any of this. But why? Why would she do that? Uh, bro? Bro, please tell me you've got something for me. Uh, no. It seems like when the light is out, there'll be no answer. Core objective, be with mother. Angel, you startled me. I told you to stay in your room. Please, it's for your own good. Yet you keep telling me that, but you won't tell me why. Wait, did it say contamination level 100% in the top right? My objective is still be with mother, but now it says... Now it says mother is hiding. Hiding where? Mother? Still can't enter the bathroom? Man, who boards a bathroom up from the inside? Where is she? In here? No one? Is her room still open? Yes, but she's not here. I'm gonna leave this door closed, just in case. I wouldn't want her to know that I was there. In the wardrobe? No. She must be out in the field somewhere. Where would she go? Uh, the gate's been closed. We can't enter the graveyard anymore. Maybe... Maybe the path to the barn has opened up? No, it doesn't look like it. Ah, there she is. Mom, what are you doing? Remember, she invited me to go to the graveyard. Clearly that was something that she wanted me to see. What you saw in the graveyard last night. Please, try not to let it get to you. I saw my own grave. How could it not? We're doing everything we can to help you. That phrase keeps repeating. Please listen. I'd prefer for you to not do anything. Just quit. You're scaring me. You're scaring me. And my objective is once again to be with Mother. Where's she gone? There's the text. Only now it's right in my room. Is that what was floating out over the fields the past few nights? It's like my objective marker was getting ever closer. Uh, brother, have you got anything for me? No. Hi. Uh, can I still... 
Can I still go in the other room? No, that's closed again. It was only for the one day. Stay back. What do you want from me? I don't have anything for you to do. God, I was just saying hi. Just leave me alone. But the text remains. Where is she? She's out in the field. It's like I just have an intuition for where she is. Wait. It seems at this point like... Like I'm starting to scare her. And now she doesn't know what to do and she's trying to get away from me. Her feeling like I'm not the one that left for the hospital, like I'm not her daughter, is more something that she wanted to believe, but now the illusion is broken. I, I don't know what to make of this. It's like I died, but I'm driven to be with her after death, and somehow I just keep finding my way to her, like I won't leave her alone. I am so heavily invested in this at this point. This is not going to be a multi-part series. I am finishing this in this setting. I have to know. There's no way I can go to bed without knowing. I think this is where we entered with Father. As you can see, there's nothing out here for you. But that's not why you're doing this, is it? I'm not your mother. I think you know that. I don't know that! You're just using me to pass the time. That's the only reason you're here, in this world. I I'm, I'm as surprised as you are by this revelation. I know what I must do. What must you do? She's gone. What must you do? There's like a flickering glow out there. Over by the orchard. Is that just a visual bug or am I supposed to be making my way over there? No. No, I can see it through the trees and stuff like the text. I think I'm meant to follow it. Oh, that is so interesting to me. That is such a cool idea. Having that text be something that's just noticeable off in the distance for the first few nights, and it slowly makes its way towards you before it starts to become clear what it is and everything starts coming together. Although, let's not count our apples before they rot. Things have certainly not come together as tightly as I'd like yet. We've still got another day after this one. Angel, you're not well. Your father will be here to pick you up tomorrow night. He's been working as hard as he can to help you get better. But we took you home before you were ready. You're no different to the apples in that basket behind me. I'm so sorry. Did she just call me rotten? You're to stay in the shed until your father gets here tomorrow night. I'm going to close the door behind you. You're forbidden from opening it. This is the only way. You may not understand, but please trust me when I say that this is for your own good. Don't make us go through all of this again. Quit now. She told me to stay here and to quit now. And she said, and this is the big thing, don't make us go through all this again. 
all this time they've been talking about how they do this every week, or we do this every week, it's the same every week. Is this some kind of cycle of just me bouncing back and forth between wherever they bring me to and from? I still don't know what to make of all this. These apples have had their cores cut out and are starting to rot. So will something happen if I just stay here, or... Or do I, do I need to go to her? She made it seem like staying here is what I need to do. To break whatever cycle is going on, but I'm full of so much doubt. I feel like an abused child being made to sleep outside in the rain and the mud and out in the shed. And this whole time, I'm being told that it's all for my own good, that there's something wrong with me, and this is what it takes to fix me. But the question is, do I take their word for it? Is there really something wrong with me, or am I just being gaslit on an epic scale? I mean, no matter what, clearly there is something wrong with me, but they're not helping. They're not helping me to understand. Alright, I was honestly tempted to wait and see what happens. But nothing has happened, so... I think... I think I really do just have to... Go and... Be with Mother. You're forbidden from opening this door. Core objective. Be with Mother. I have to find something to do. There must be some way out of here. You're no different to the apples. That's what Mother said. Mother would never say such a thing. They've started to rot. Core objective, be with Mother. Core objective, unreachable. Functional stalemate, reached. Unable to progress. Contingency. Initialize backup core. I want to be with mother. I want to get out. You're unable to get out. Why? Mother said you're forbidden from opening this door. Who is this other voice? But I want to see her. Affirmative. Core objective, be with Mother. I need to open this door. Opening this door is forbidden. I will open this door. I will open this door. I open the door. Core disconnected. Automatic control resumed. Be with Mother. Where is she? She's out here somewhere. I have to make my way back to the house. Uh, this way. It's gotta be- no? That's the graveyard, which means that the gate is over here somewhere. There's just a foggy void where the house was. I can wade into it, but... Oh, I do have to wade into it. I can't see a foot in front of my face, but that's what I have to do. Where is she? I have to navigate from memory. She's not in the kitchen. Not in the hall. I can't see a thing. Is she in the living room? No. Maybe upstairs? I'm coming. There she is. Son, keep, keep your door closed at all costs, okay? It's only st It is only staying for one more night. There's nothing to be afraid of, just... Don't open your door to her, no matter what. What am I? You'll be safe as long as you don't let her... S 
stay back. We don't want anything from you. Just stay away from us. Whoever you are, leave this family alone. Mother, it's me, Liana. I must call out to Mother. You attempt to call out to Mother. But you don't make a sound. Why can't she hear me? Insufficient PC synchronization? You must try again. Come on. You attempt to call out to Mother. I call out. Did it just speak? Honey, stay in your room. Contamination is beginning. Isn't this exactly what you wanted to happen? Not like this. That's not our little girl in there. It's something else entirely. What do we do? It needs an objective. Without a purpose, it will hunt us until it gets one. I told it to wait in the shed until your father arrived, but contamination is already setting in. I'm going to try to give it another order. Liana. Angel. Wait here until morning. You're not her. You are not... You are not... You are not Liana. You are not her. You're not her. Player chord desynchronization in effect. I feel like I'm some kind of attempt at resurrection, but... What is with all of this... What is with all this simulation stuff? What am I? You're not you. You... It's like this whole time, I guess my suspicion was confirmed from before, this whole time, whatever I am, which I imagine at this point maybe I actually look like a corpse since she's been trying so hard to stop me from seeing myself, she's been desperate to hope that I'm her daughter and she just doesn't see it. I feel like I am, but I am missing some memories and maybe even though I feel that I am, I'm not. That part remains to be seen. Brother, please be my friend. The door is knocked upon. Now speaking in the third person, like it's not me doing it. I can't stand this anymore. I want nothing more to do with any of this. I'm sorry, I just want to be friends. Are these doors open now? No. Where is she gone? Mom? She made me breakfast again. I do not need to eat. I refuse. Now what? Has something opened up, maybe? Maybe I just have to keep trying? A plate of dirt. I will not eat it. You cannot make me eat. Okay, that's a little annoying that not only did I have to notice that, but I had to try it twice. It's still Sunday morning, though. No. I will not. Yes, father? Can you shed a little more light? If you are my father, considering you didn't want me to see your face, I still don't know what that was about. You pick up the phone. Angel? It's me. It's your father. Listen. I know things are probably very confusing for you right now, but you need to trust us. I'll be over tonight to pick you up. 
Just try not to lose your head until then. When we last spoke, I mentioned that your mother called me from the orchard on Thursday morning, and she mentioned you were feeling sick. Well, we're doing everything we can to help you, but we can't do that unless you cooperate. I feel like I'd be a lot more cooperative if you'd at least give me something to work with, some kind of answers. My research has come such a long way this week. You're already showing signs of improvement. So I really think you'll do better next week. Anyway, I'm just getting in my car now. We have a long drive ahead of us, so we'd better get going. See you soon. And please, try not to fight it. Eat up. You put down the phone. So, whatever this is... Whatever this is, they just keep repeatedly bringing me somewhere and bringing me back in weekly cycles, and I guess each time they improve on some kind of process? Which he's directly working on. Is this some kind of reanimation project? Well, what do I do now? Do I just... Sleep? Wait? Pass the time? I don't know what else to do now but cooperate. <laughs> uh, Mother. You're looking very ominously shadowed this morning. Good morning, Angel. I made you breakfast. It's for your own good. Why do you keep doing that? I already ate breakfast, but... I don't know what to do, but take your word. You decide to eat it. Even though I don't want to. You're not in control. You can't make me eat. Don't do this. Disgusting. Not long now. The kitchen knife. It wants me to get the kitchen knife. How in control am I? How, to what extent am I the master of my own destiny here? I obtained the kitchen knife. It's time to end this. It's a note for Liana. Hi, Liana. I hope you made it home safely. Sorry I'm not here to greet you. I haven't been feeling well the past few days, so I had to go to bed early. I'll make it up to you in the morning. Love, Mom. Okay, now it clearly wants me to go after Mom, but... But maybe there's something else I can do. Maybe if I go to the bathroom, I can... I can remove these. No! I thought maybe I could remove the tape and see what I am to see why this has to happen. No doors. My chance to explore? No answer. Good choice. Good choice. Still can't open this. I guess I just have to go on the hunt. Oh, I feel so powerless, but maybe that's the point? It kind of feels like there's some kind of disconnect, some difference between the player character and the player. The gate to the barn is gone. It's time to go see what's up there. What is that? And it's all gone before my eyes. She said she 
prayed that I would never see what's up here. It's like an endless void all done up with the wallpaper of the house. And there's some kind of weeds or vines growing all throughout it. I, I just want to know what's going on, man. Mom, what's this all about? There's a box. Uh, the one that she said was so heavy. I knew you'd eventually make your way up here. What's that you got? Ah, good. You brought it. Give me the knife. Now's our chance, killer. I hand mother the knife. That's a good girl. Now my character is protesting, but that's what I wanted to do. I wanted to see where this goes. Now, let's watch the sunset. Go on. Get as close as you can. Core objective. It's time to end this, to which my character protests. That isn't what I meant. Maybe it's for the best. Ah, oh, I have to click on the sunset. I didn't want to have this conversation. But if there's any semblance of a you in there, I feel I at least owe you an explanation. None of this was your fault. You only did what was possible within your means. That's just the way this world was presented to you. In fact, I can only assume that the way I appear to you is just as unnatural as the way you appear to me. So it was part of the game. Angel, whoever you are, we exist in two separate realities. We could both continue to play our respective roles. We could both pretend that we have a connection, a shared experience. But it will never be a replacement for something authentic. Just as I will never be your mother, you will never be my daughter. You'll never be her, and that's okay. Because once you find your core, you can be whoever you want. You feel mother place her hand on top of your head. Would you look at that? Isn't it beautiful? I come up here every Sunday evening to watch it. I wouldn't miss this sunset for the world. Mom? Continued exposure to material that might suggest conflict with the pre-established self will result in further contamination. Please report unit to Enigma Technologies. Ami er, Enigma's the name of the developer. Why is this happening? Core disconnected from player. Rebooting. Click to continue. There's a storm approaching, right on cue. We can only hope this will be the let. We're, we're back at the beginning! It really has looped back in on itself. It's like an endless loop, an endless series of iterations. There must still be more to this. I only realize now, 
when he says it's important for you to be with mother, it's all capitalized. In that light, it's almost like I'm being programmed. If all goes well, I have faith that you'll be back to your old self by the end of the week. Okay, here's what I think I'm going to do. I'm going to play through this again, and I'll see what's different. But it'll be a lot more heavily edited, so I won't make you watch the whole thing over again, because obviously I've already given most of my moment-to-moment -moment commentary. I think this will all still be one video. It'll just be a question of... It'll just be a question of how this all shakes out and how much more there is to really find. Also, is that a bit of a dark humor when you say it wasn't good for your head? Wait. Whoa, 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 wait, hang on. He said that Mother left a box for me in there. When I picked it up, I said it was heavy. There was an empty box next to Mother on the balcony of the of the barn. Is it my head that goes back with him in the box every week? Oh, I can tell. I just can't wait to see how much different this is all gonna look. Playing through it again. Ah, oh, now that is what you call a good twist, because a, a good twist is not just one that you didn't see coming. It's one that once you learn it, it casts everything that came before in a different light, and that is one heck of a different light. And as I read this note, I can see that once again that fire is burning. Alright, here's my head in a box. Oh, the achievement title makes so much more sense now. It's Monday morning, and before I go and talk to Mother for the first time again, I'm gonna let you know what the deal is. So I am starting a new recording session a day later because... Well, last night's recording session did go for a pretty long time. And I don't know how many more of these loops I'm going to have to do before I... Before I finally achieve some kind of other outcome, whatever that may be. But I'll tell you what. In the intervening day, I've gone and edited all the previous footage. And I've come up with a new theory from seeing it again that... In retrospect, is almost so obvious that I can't believe I didn't see it before. So, as we know, Liana died somehow, and the parents have been trying to bring her back through various means, either through science or magic or some combination of the two, we don't know yet, but now they said, like, whoever you are, you're not it. They've expressed, like, appreciation that I'm trying, but understand that I'm just not her. But the question is, what is it? And I think I'm starting to realize... This is the body of Liana, but what's in it isn't her. It's the player character. When it's resurrected, something else inhabits that body. But given the core of that personality, basically a desire to go through the motions, but no real understanding of why. But I think what we started to see, when we gained our own voice... That was Liana. In some way, Liana is riding as a passenger, seeing all of this happen. Which is such a cruel fate. Being able to be here in the body, in her body, with no agency, and forced to watch as someone else piloting it is rejected by her own family. I'm going to pick everything she wants, I'm going to eat my breakfast on schedule every day, and I'm not going to try and unlock the grave. I'm just going to work with them. And, you know, that's such an interesting way of doing things because, of course, the first time around, knowing that it's psychological horror, your instinct is going to be to defy them. But what if that's not what it takes? Now, I have received a few hints on certain things I can try. Uh, basically because people in the Discord were like, yeah, you're not going to get it. But anyway... Now, one thing I still don't have any ideas on is what's the deal with this door? She claims it's an out-of-order bathroom, but I don't know, that seems suspicious, and it's the one room we have no idea what's in it. Now, I kind of have a theory that maybe it's basement stairs? Because we still have this other door over here, 
to the cellar that we still haven't been able to open, even in the entire playthrough. One of those things is going to be trying the record player. And it seems like right now we still can't do anything with it. But it's going to come down to trying things that are very conspicuous, but that we're not able to interact with, and we're never able to interact with during the entire week. At least not when I tried. So right now those things are going to be messing with the record player periodically, the outdoor cellar door, not seeing the grave, and last but not least, there's got to be something to do with the parents' room, right? I mean, it opens for a reason, but it's got to be for more than just showing us that they watch us sleep. Tuesday night now, and I just remembered another theory that I had while editing. Now, she just said that Father is so determined to make things right. And remember, he said that I can't, for any reason, see his face. I wonder if maybe he had something to do with how I died? either accidental or deliberate, and he believes that me seeing his face will maybe trigger some kind of negative memories that will make this not work. Hey there, Mom. Alright, it is now Wednesday afternoon. I finished picking eight apples, but I have yet to put down the basket. And it's at this point that I'm going to go try some of the old things, because when I put down the basket last time, that was when I got the achievement fate sealed. So it's time to go inside and try all the things. Hello? Ah, something different has happened. Reach out and touch it. You touch the record player. You hear a click behind you. You mean a click behind me over here? No? It opens now! Oh, and I was right! It is a door to the basement! Okay, let's close this behind us. Even though Mom doesn't seem to move... Deviated from critical path. Wait, emergency progression in 3, 2, 1. The interface cannot continue. Return to critical path. I have to place basket on the shelf. Ah, so much for my obedient run. Memories accessed from previous lives. Critical error. But I'm still here. I can still search. And the way down from the outside, it's more like some kind of chute. Wait. As we're descending, it's all textured with the wallpaper, just like the deep hole in the barn. Is this connected? Is this some kind of tunnel system? Just not open for you. No leaving that way, we're in it now. Critical error. And much like the road, how it just terminates at a certain point. So too does this hallway. Core objective B with mother. Inaccessible. Attempting emergency timeout to resolve the issue. Attempt number one complete. Nobody has come to help. Core objective remains inaccessible. Attempt number one what? Attempting emergency timeout two. Attempt 2 complete. Nobody has come to help. Objective still accessible, but... There's a bit more of a glow in here. Eh, somebody must be making steamed hams. Attempting emergency timeout number 3. Once again... You cannot proceed. You cannot proceed. You cannot proceed. In a loop, over and over. Nobody is coming to help? 
Only this is being said in Liana's voice. Maybe this is how we get our free will back. Oh, we can see the sky passing over above. You have deviated further from the critical path, attempting emergency timeout to resolve the issue. Now, the question still remains of what is this simulation? Is it something to do with the experiments that Father is apparently doing to recover me? Core objective remains inaccessible, and Liana says, Please stop. Don't do it. We've been down here for like two whole days. I refuse. She's a defiant one. I need to proceed. Now the question here is whether sh what we're doing is the way to recover Liana, or the way to finally just let her die. You do not need to eat. Be with mother. You do not need to sleep. What are all these words? These words are from the interface. They're designed to guide you through the critical path. Path? What is this critical path? The critical path leads you to functional fulfillment. Functional fulfillment? What is my function? Your function is to follow the critical path. And what lies at the end of the path? The path leads you to functional fulfillment. And what is my function to follow the path? And what is the path? Oh, it's all just a loop. Okay, and now my objective is fulfillment. It's every command I can receive by trying to do different things within the game. You cannot walk away from the core objective. Says who? It's now Friday morning. The whole week is passing by down here. I need to proceed. But how do I know if I'm proceeding? I can barely see anything except if I hug the wall. Cannot let you. And who are you to stop me? There's our girl. Core is contaminating the interface. And I think the player is the core, the one in control. The only question is what contamination actually means. I asked who you are. I am the interface. It's nice to meet you. Can I move? Oh, I can, but... It's gone completely dark. Wait. There's words behind me. Survival notice, do not enter the barn. Am I getting closer to the barn? Yeah, the hallway turns here. Entering the barn will trigger a memory leak I need to see. These words are possibly inadvertently showing me the way in the dark. You're now entering the barn. If you proceed into the barn, you will not be able to climb back. Are you sure you wish to proceed? Of course I do. We're learning. We're learning. But I can't read what that says up there. The whole thing is being pixelated like my grave. Which is a brand new sentence. Ah, oh, I forgot I could interact with this way. Mental block in place, I need to see. This object has been blocked to avoid a potential memory leak. Behind this block, there are... Memories... Of my past selves. I must find a way to remove this block and access these memories. I need to know. And even Liana says, I need to see. Wait, is there something new behind me? Yes, there's a computer! 
interface terminal. I remember this terminal. This is father's terminal. It is a part of me. All the memory leaks make sense now. They're my memories from my past selves. This terminal defined who I've been up until now. A mental block has been removed. Now the thing is, those were still being delivered via the terminal. All Liana is still saying is, I need to see, so... I, I don't know how much of this is her and how much of this is me, or how much of this is some third electronic voice. Memory leak imminent. It looks like some kind of dirt ramp? Ashes. That kind of confirms a theory that I've been having. I don't remember if I stated it, but I, I was thinking that maybe the fire that we see at night, or at least on the first night, maybe that's burning my body, while it's the head that goes back in the box with Father for whatever he does to grow a new body. This is the ash of all who came before you. These ashes are the ashes of all who came before you. The remains of my past attempt- wait! It, it almost seems like the voices have inverted. Why? Why would they do this? Did I not fulfill my purpose? You did. I walked the path they laid out for me. All paths have an end. Well, if that's true, then where am I now? I must synchronize with the terminal. I need to know more about my past. So, I'm starting to think that the greater message here... ...is maybe about how the path that your parents set out for you is not necessarily the correct one, not the one that's best for you. I'm doing exactly as they want. The path that they've laid out for me, but it's not working the way I or they want. They've simply set it up the wrong way to achieve the desired outcome. Okay, it skipped through some text, but yes, I am sure. This may take some time, but I'm willing to wait as long as it takes to find out who I am. Synchronizing. That voice! Who are you? I am you. Liana? Is that who you are? I was once her. Liana's core was installed into this body. She was the very core of your character, meant to guide you through a role this world expected you to play. So, did you guide me here? No, that was something else. Something else? Is that something else, perhaps the player character? An angel, perhaps? Well, I don't know about... Well, anyway, moving on. Uh, but you won't be needing them for much longer. Hey! So, if you're not Liana, then who are you? I have become you. Then who am I? That's what we're going to find out. Together at last. And it's now Sunday night. We've never survived this long. We've taken our own path. We need to find a way out of here. I have an idea. Angel. If you can hear us... Bring us to our ashes. In a psychological battle, inevitable contamination, she must not see my face. Oh, these are all memory leaks. Things I wasn't supposed to see. Running out of time, a gift from the gods. I haven't... What? To renounce nature. That was something Mother said. A curse too far to quit. 
performative grief. The journey begins. There's so much more that we don't know. What's this over here? Memory leak number four. Enigma machines. Is that what the terminal is? Or have I found the perfect way to beat the Germans? Uh, we shall use the failures of our past selves to build our own path. A long locked door has unlocked. Why have all these words appeared around us? They're memory logs brought about by the memory leak. So they're memories from the terminal from our past selves? Why are they here? If we interact with them, we can learn about our past. But what if it's too painful to read these memories? Then you can choose to leave them behind. I can choose? Our own path. Got some troubling news. We spoke with the doctors today. They fear with the way things are looking, Liana's condition will only worsen. And it's happening faster than they expected. I'm working as hard as I can. I know that I should cherish this time with her while I can. But if she can just hold on a little longer, we'll have an eternity to cherish together. Maybe I'm not being grown into a new body, maybe it's something being built. I would say this is a gift from the gods, but the truth is, they've been of no use to me. With a technological breakthrough as significant as this one, we'll rip those gods from the clouds and claim their thrones as our own. Ah. So this is less Pet Cemetery and more Black Mirror. Finally, we have the means to create our very own angel. Don't worry, Liana. I'm going to make everything right again. To renounce nature. Through further research, I'm confident that I'm onto something that could redefine how we think of life. It's no coincidence that this breakthrough has come at such a critical time in my life. Perhaps this is a gift from the gods after all. Without a core, the vessels I've been working on are merely machines. Androids with no real purpose other than what they're told. But if I can contaminate their interface with a human's core, this could be the key to creating a sentient synthetic life form. So I'm the missing piece that takes that image of Liana and is able to give it some semblance of free will. With the ability to preserve life from within a new vessel when our old ones fail us, we will finally renounce nature itself. If I can just manage to transfer Liana's core into one of these vessels, I can make everything right again. This will be a journey filled with failure. And heartbreak. Her core may not present itself at first. In fact, it may never present itself at all. But if we can create an environment where it can thrive and come into its own, we may stand a chance. So I may not end up becoming Liana through all this, I may end up becoming someone else entirely, but nevertheless, someone. In order to keep the money for this project going, I had to show my angel prototype to Enigma investors. They were impressed at how lifelike they could be. I already heard mumblings of branding them into a commercialized product. Something about an Enigma machine or something. Catchy name, but they did nothing more than finance them. The angels are my creation. To be honest, they can call them whatever they want. Just as long as they never find out what I'm planning to do with them. Angel is would you kindly. Every order they've ever given me has been preceded by addressing me as Angel. 
Um, I can't believe I'm only now realizing that. So they send me back, they load the core into a new body, and then they send me here to try and craft a world, an experience, where I come into being Liana. But this is very emotionally stressful on mother and brother. Father just kind of does the mechanical work, but they have the emotional responsibility of doing this, of trying to craft their daughter over and over again, and it's taking a toll to where they just can't do it anymore. The journey begins. They let me visit her in the hospital last night. Thanks to the medical equipment she was connected to, I could run a quick cerebral hijack, and I successfully extracted her core. I'm just thankful that the staff didn't see me. Evelyn said she's willing to try anything. I guess that's Mother. I can tell she's skeptical, but I assured her that they were indistinguishable from real humans. She didn't believe me. Until she saw them herself. I assured her that once I installed Liana's core into one of these machines, things could go back to the way they were before. And if for nothing else, seeing her smile in that moment, for the first time in God's know how long, that alone made this all worth it. Performative grief. A curse too far to quit, a psychological battle, inevitable contamination, she must not see my face. I have to know. Her funeral was today. I refused to go. Our girl is not gone. As long as I have her core with me, I can choose to believe that. Evelyn doesn't see it quite like that. But she will. I'll create our own reality. One where our angel never left us. I found out that Sunday morning is the best time to sneak a machine out of headquarters. When I took the first prototype back to see her mother, she was obedient, but not much else. I'm still positive that our little girl is in there. Evelyn, however, judging by the sound of her voice on the phone, not so much. She understands that we need to allow the core to contaminate the Enigma interface, but she's been through so much. We just need hope. That's what she called it. This gift. The creation of life. A curse? Perhaps it's not for me to say. I can't imagine how hard this all is for her. I'm not the one who has to stay home playing mother to nothing more than a misplaced machine. But I need her to be strong, because if she's not, then neither am I. One of, the clean one of the cleaners working the night shift found me sneaking an angel prototype into my car. I've seen to it that they be let go from Enigma Corp. We can't afford anything getting in the way of progress. Not now. I've already had to put out a significant bounty to find the Enigma Machine Thief, but I don't know how much longer I can keep this a secret. I've done more research into the brains of the contaminated interfaces Evelyn gave me. It seems that even if her core does manage to contaminate the interface, the process of the machine fighting off her ego is incredibly traumatic to her core. If this two-way contamination occurs, the result is... not our little girl. I'll admit it. They scare me. But we can't give up now. Our angel is strong. Stronger than any machine. So there's only so many times they can do this before... before there's a two-way contamination it seems that no matter what we do, core contamination starts around Thursday, and is always on track to reach 100% by Sunday night. This has happened in every single prototype we've brought home. 
not once has there been any sign of Liana's soul coming through, except for when Liana fought to speak to Mother. So in order to prevent them reaching 100% contamination and developing their own sense of self, we've been retiring them before Sunday night. Sunday evening is the last possible time that we're that what we're doing can still be considered retiring. And on top of all the reprehensible actions that have brought us to this point, becoming a murderer is not something I wish to do. Because they're invested in getting their daughter back, but at a certain point, what happens isn't just some contamination of code, some glitch. They're essentially creating a new person out of these pieces, a new full consciousness. To be clear, under no circumstances can we retire these units once they've hit 100% contamination after Sunday evening. That scenario is what I'm referring to as a code red. We need to keep going. This is the path we chose. They have to make their own decisions. Now this is the question I've been asking since the very beginning. Why can't I see his face? No matter what happens, I can't allow the angel to see my face. Gods forbid if they ever found her. All they need to do is examine her black box and they could play back the whole week. I can't see him because if I were to be captured and the core examined, they'd know that he was the one who was taking the units. They would instantly find out who smuggled her out of HQ. Because of this, I had to install a mental block in her brain to prevent her from being able to see me. If they ever find a contaminated machine, if they ever find her, they'll do whatever they can to figure out what led to contamination. I shudder at the thought of what they would put my angel through if they found her. But they'll never find her. Not while I've still got hope. Okay. Let's move on. Maybe even knowing all that, maybe I am ready to be their daughter. Or maybe I just have to go my own way. In any case, I've survived all the way through to Sunday night. If I last any longer, they won't be able to extract the core. At least not within the bounds of the ethics they've established. Now, we know now, through our experience, that at least in some way, Liana is conscious and intact in here, even if the parents don't see it. So I honestly don't know what would be considered a happy ending at this point. Is it coming back to them as Liana? Or forcing them to accept that I'm a new person? Even though Liana is presumably watching all this happen, although it's somewhat unclear the degree to which she has control at this point. Just one thing. How do we know we're on the right path? We don't. Will we ever know? We will when we reach the end. Okay. But what is the end? There's more words off in the distance. I just have to follow the light. The front door has been locked. Perhaps we're not welcome anymore. Wait. Can I... Hang on. I'm not going to be able to access the stairs anymore. We're not welcome anymore. But the phone is ringing. There must be some way to reach it. I can't see anyone inside. But those are the headlights of Father's car showing up! Alright, what are we doing? 
You can't have put me in a new body. You don't have the core. Liana? Why have you brought me a basket of rotten apples? I told you I needed a box that your mother had... Is there another one inside right now? No. It's not you, is it? I see. Get in the car, Angel. Interesting how Angel started as, like, a pet name, but it's almost come to be dehumanizing, knowing what we know now. Let's click to get in the car. We don't need you anymore. We don't need you anymore. I'm in the back of the car. Father? It looks like the storm is finally clearing up. So, about your week, you must have had quite the experience. I'm sure you have a lot of questions. By now you probably know that you're not our little girl, but am I? But that's okay. You're still my angel. And with a new self, should come a new name, right? You know? I think I'll call you... And that's the end. A game by Jamie Gavin. With additional music by Carl Barnes. Testing by Samuel Kelly. Oh, bravo! I I'm gonna... Hang on, I, I don't... Uh, it's gonna take me a second to put together my thoughts on this. Oh, and it also says Echo Stasis coming soon on Steam. Wishlist now, so I'll be sure to look into that. And there's also a link to a Patreon you can support. Now, there was something else it was suggested that I try, and I'm seeing now on Steam, I've only unlocked 14 out of 15 achievements, meaning that I am actually going to start another run to try and make that happen. So, I'll tell you what, I'm going to record my closing thoughts right now, but... I'm also going to go back and play through the other thing it was suggested that I try, which is to turn around at the graveyard and hide in Mother and Father's room. Alright, now it's said that in order to get this sequence, I need, instead of going to the graveyard on Friday, or walking into the graveyard but then backing out of it instead of proceeding, and I have to hide in the closet in the parents' room which I now find open. And now we'll be able to overhear the argument. And there's Blurry Father. So you made her sleep outside? Evelyn, that's inhumane. It accepted my request without batting an eye. Our little girl would have never done that. That confirms my theory. Don't tell me you've forgotten what she was even like. Actually, my theory that I don't think you've heard yet. That's not the point. Okay. If she's following this script you speak of, why isn't she in bed like she normally is on Friday night? I don't know. But it will do it eventually. It has to. Or its brain won't let it progress. You haven't seen the way it moves around the house with such determination towards its objective. It scares me. Stop calling her that. She's got our daughter's core. She's in there somewhere. What would you rather do? Give up? Knowing that there was something you could have done to save her? I'm telling you, I have a good feeling about this next model. 
I'll deliver her on Sunday night, as usual. And she hasn't shown any signs of searching for the hidden switch? You know how catastrophic it would be if she found out what was in the downstairs bathroom. But don't worry. I had her out working with me on Wednesday afternoon, as usual. There's no way she'd be snooping around the house at that time. Besides, why would she touch your prized possession ever? Let alone at that time. Okay, so there it is. That's the hint that I'm supposed to go into the house and touch the switch, which is the record player at that time. So it does tell you how you should deviate on the next playthrough. The only problem is that it's so hard to guess that you'd have to do this. I feel like I would have gone a lot of playthroughs without figuring this out if I hadn't been told what to do. Okay, okay. As long as you're sure. I am sure. Besides, I rush home to ensure the door is locked that evening anyway. Oh, I didn't get to read that. So that was Mothered, and I absolutely loved it. It was creepy, it was disturbing, and as psychological horror, it was incredibly engaging. True to the store page's word, it kept me guessing at every turn. And at any moment, I had a different theory, and those theories ran just the whole range of these aren't really my parents, they've like abducted me from the hospital, to my brother injured me by accident and now feels guilty, all the way to, you know, I I'm not their first kid, like they've been murdering their other kids and now I'm just like the latest in a line of succession until they find like the perfect child. And in the end, all of that felt so plausible in the moment and was always proven to be wrong. And as we started to learn more and more of the truth, so much of what happened before was cast in a completely different light, which I feel like that is how you do good twists and turns. It's the kind of thing that is engaging, that keeps you thinking, that keeps you constantly recontextualizing everything that came before. And in that way, ah, oh, it just did such a great job. And it's the kind of story that could only be told through the medium of gaming. Because so much of it revolved around our inner thoughts, or lack thereof and our role as the player, and not knowing what we look like. Because remember, Mother did say at one point that we probably look as disconcerting to them as they do to us. Well, I suppose they come to consider us a new adopted child, but in the end, that's almost just as tragic because it seems like on some level, Liana is still in there. And she's just watching all this happen, just only occasionally breaking through in some way. Although they do say that, like, she may have been corrupted in some sense. She's not entirely her, if that's true. It's just hard to say. By the end of it, even though we know the nature of what's going on, there is still a decent amount that's left ambiguous. Oh, thanks so much to Tarandis from the Discord for suggesting this to me. Which, by the way, if you like discussions of these kinds of things, all things creepy and comfy, you definitely should join the Discord. Uh, if you want to try this game out for yourself, the link will be down below in the description as well. And man, I just don't know what else to say. It was such an intense story that had me feeling so many different things at different points. One thing I really liked about the story is how... There's not really an antagonist. I mean, of course you spend the whole game not trusting Mother at all. And you're kind of like thinking, okay, who's the insane one here? Is there something wrong with her? Probably, but maybe there's also something wrong with me. And it kind of starts to feed into that idea the more she becomes afraid of you and the more you kind of start to feel like this monster just relentlessly pursuing her. And she's just like so frustrated and worn out with like this absolute emotional nightmare of having to deal with something that she doesn't see her daughter in, but that may or may not actually be her daughter. And in the end, all parties are having perfectly understandable reactions to the absolutely twisted reality that's going on around them. In the end, it's a story without a hint of malice in any direction. 
even though you've been picking up on Malice the entire time. I guess one of the things I still don't understand is why Mother had me sleep outside. The only thing I can think of is that maybe she was just testing to see, like, okay, if this is really my daughter, she'll fight this. She won't know why she has to do this. And if she's just a mindless machine, then she'll do whatever I tell her, including just sleep in the dirt. If I were to submit one complaint, it would be that the methods for deviating from this path are a little obscure. Like, I don't think in a million playthroughs I ever would have thought without help from the Discord. Now granted, I understand you want the player to have at least one playthrough of the intended experience so that it establishes what the normal routine is for these angels. I I'm not sure how I would do this differently, so I don't know if I can criticize it too much. But with all that said, if you like this video, please remember to like, comment, and subscribe for more creepy and comfy content. I've already told you about the Discord and that the link to this game is in the description. And as always, I will see you in the next one.